Hey there, I hope you guys are doing great today. We're gonna to be talking about how to help your kids not talk back to you. Because when our kids talk back to us, it can feel not only um, frustrating and disrespectful, but it can also hit us at the core and make us feel like we are really failing as parents. So let's talk about three ways that you can help your kids not talk back to you. The first two might surprise you because I think we have to talk about um, how you talk to your kids when we're talking about respect. Because often in my practice, I will hear kids tell me, you know, I'll start talking respectful to her when she starts talking respectful to me. And you know, frankly, they have a point. You know, it's, we can't parent with a do as I say, not as I do mentality because that really doesn't work and it doesn't really convey um, an accurate message to our kids of how life is going to be. And so if we want our kids to start talking respectfully to us, we have to watch our own language, which means, you know, we can't demean them. We can't call them names. And hopefully you don't. But a lot of times parents lose their cool. And when they lose their cool, they say some really hurtful things. Or when their child is disrespecting them, they come back at that child in a very disrespectful way too. They, they go to that child's level instead of rising and being the, the parent in that situation. Now we all have those moments where we look back and go, oh my gosh, what did I just say to my child? And I get that and I totally understand that that happens. But I think it's important when you're trying to work on your child that you also work on you too and realize that you need to be respectful to them. And even if they're being disrespectful, you need to parent in a respectful way that teaches and doesn't demean. So having said that, you might wanna also look at how do you talk to other people? Because I think I have some parents that I work with who you know, will say, I'm very respectful to my kid and they're so disrespectful back. But then I will listen to how that parent talks and they talk really disrespectfully about their partner or maybe I'll meet with the couple together and there's the, maybe the dad is super disrespectful to the mom and he's rolling his eyes as she's talking. This happens in my therapy sessions um, or talks on top of her or calls her ideas stupid um, or vice versa, you know, a mom who's demeaning the dad or undermining him. Kids are watching and they're seeing how you talk. Um, also, sometimes people are super rude to other people, you know, like friends, family or customer service people. You know, if you're disrespectful to waitresses or you badmouth everybody that you come in contact with to your kids or around your kids, they're going to see that. And so they're going to get an idea of global disrespect. You know, that I don't really have to respect people. I can talk behind their back. I can call them names. I can make fun of people. I can make fun of um, strangers. And, and your kids are going to emulate that. So watch behavior at home and in your environment because kids will do as they see, not as you say they should do. Respect begets respect. The second thing I really wanna talk about is the importance of teaching kids to talk, just talking respectfully. So you might assume that your kids know how to talk to you and that they should um, automatically talk that way. But if this has been a long-term problem, kids don't necessarily know how to talk. And if they're really little and they're hearing a lot of disrespect at home, they don't know to how to talk appropriately. And so I give some suggestions in um, the article attached to this video about how to do that. You know, sometimes just repeat how you want to be talked to. You know, if a child says, fine, I'll do that. Then you say, thanks mom, I'll go do that now. Don't do it in a sarcastic way, just do it in a matter of fact way so that your child can get into the mode of learning how to speak to you appropriately. The third and sometimes the most important step is if this has been going on forever, if you have a tween or a teen, then we're gonna have a different conversation. If you have a toddler, do what I was just talking about. Speak for them, um, You know, use your language. I'll put some links on the bottom of articles that I wrote on how to, to teach kids to talk appropriately and respectfully. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do with toddlers. I wouldn't discipline it, I would teach it. With your teens who have been doing this forever and maybe have been watching you talk like this and maybe not, maybe you're like, hey, Natasha, I don't do this, but my kid's super rude. Then you're gonna have to do some behavioral shaping because this habit and behavior didn't happen overnight and it's not gonna change overnight. And so I talk about kind of my, I'm a big fan of um, th this approach, three strikes, you're out. It's what I use in my practice. It's what I use at home um, when I'm trying to shape behavior. 
and I'll leave a link below to what that looks like. Um, I have an article that kind of goes into detail about the three strikes you're out. But the main message that I'm trying to convey to you is there has to be some sort of consequence every time your child is disrespectful to you. Um, I wouldn't pick every battle, the child rolls their eyes or they stomp off when you discipline them. <clears throat> it's okay, let them have a little bit of expression, but if they're being really mouthy to you and they're saying like, shut up, or you know, I've heard all sorts of things that would never happen in my house because I just wouldn't tolerate it. If that's happening, then you're gonna have to do some behavioral shaping. And so every time that that happens, there has to be some sort of consequence. Um, you don't wanna do what they're asking if they're talking in, you in, in a really rude way, but also, um, you know, maybe a three strikes, you're out. Hey, if you talk to me like that, you're going to get a strike. Every time you get a strike, you know, three strikes, and then this happens. And you can read the article attached below for what that might look like for you. But I think kids need to get that A plus B equals C. They need consequences for talking that way. Otherwise, they're going to keep talking to you that way, especially if they're a team. So check that out. Uh, I hope some of these suggestions were helpful. And I know that it will take time because kids have to you know have some consistency in how you parent in order to have change and so stick with it you know be robotic don't throw your emotion into your parenting and you're going to watch your kids blossom over time be patient all right i hope you guys have a great week and i will talk to you next week